this one. I've just watched Mortal Kombat 2021. And I must say, like, fan service video games concern. This is definitely fan service. It, it has those cheesy lines like fatality and Kung Pao saying flawless victory. I can't believe they did my man Kano dirty. And then. I'm shocked that they made Sub-Zero the villain because I've always known Sub-Zero as the hero and Scorpion is the villain. Also, I don't know. Uh, I think they l it's decent. The fight scenes are okay. I like Sonya. She's a plus for me. I don't like what they did to Kano. Uh, what else? Um, Jax was eh, eh, eh. I don't know who Cole Young is. And then the best bit was the credits. The Mortal Kombat 1995 techno soundtrack played. It was kinda decent. I don't know. It had many brutal spots, I can tell you that. But all in all, I, I am not familiar with most of the characters. Look, I've only played Mortal Kombat until PlayStation 1, Mortal Kombat 3. So, I don't know who the Predator guy was. I know Melina. I know Goro. Uh, yeah, Goro. But they nerfed Goro. Goro was super OP in the 1995 film. And then they nerfed him. He died way too early. Goro should have been the super boss. I wish in a sequel they would cast the Miz. As Johnny Cage and then Shao Kahn. I was hoping Shao Kahn should have made an appearance. I was, yeah, I, I felt empty. So, there, that, yeah, I don't know who the dragon is. I guess they teased Noob Saibot on the sequel because Scorpion burned down Sub Zero and he looks like he's now black now. And then Shang Tsung said that is just like the beginning or something. So Sub Zero may be revived as no as Smoke or Noob Saibot. So there, that's my take for Mortal Kombat 2021. Oh, and I did it in three minutes or less. Thank you, and have a nice afternoon.